JavaScript logical and operator is not that bad as they say for React conditional rendering. Hello and welcome to Sakura Dev channel. We all have seen a lot of videos in which they say, hey, don't use logical and operator in React conditional rendering and instead use ternary operator. Well, they are right about it, but I'm gonna show you a very simple trick that can fix the bad behavior of the logical and operator in React conditional rendering. Okay, I'm not gonna offer the ternary operator. So first of all, let me show you what is the problem. Here we have a simple React app and here we have a condition which is set to false. And here we check if the condition is true, then we render the button element into the screen. So obviously the condition is false and the button element is not rendered into the screen. So if I change the value of condition to true, we can see that the button element is now rendered to the screen. Okay, so far so good. And if I change the value of the condition to a new rate value like one, and save this, you can see that it still works well and the button element is rendered into the screen. But if I change the value of the condition to zero, you can see that the button element is not rendered into the screen, but instead the value of condition, which is zero, is now rendered to the screen. So this is a bad behavior of the logical AND operator for React conditional rendering when we're dealing with the non-boolean value as a condition. To fix this problem, usually it is offered to use ternary operator instead of the logical AND operator. So if I change the AND operator with a ternary operator, and then add a null value as a second statement, you can see the problem is solved, but it is longer than the logical AND operator and we have to pass a null value as a second statement after our button element. But we can fix the bad behavior of the logical AND operator in React conditional rendering with just the double negation operator. So let me change it back to logical AND operator. And then before the condition, we just use the double negation operator, which turns the condition to a Boolean value. So now you can see that the problem is solved. And if I change the value of the condition to a non-zero value, you can see that the button element is now rendered into the screen. So with the help of the double negation operator, we can fix the behavior of the logical AND operator for React conditional rendering. And if we want to render the button when the condition is faulty, we just add another exclamation mark before the double negation operator. So if I save this, you can see the condition is not falsy, but the button element is not rendered to the screen. And if I change the value in into a falsy value, you can see that the button element is now rendered onto the screen. So with the help of double negation operator, we can fix the bad behavior of the logical AND operator for React conditional rendering. So that's it for today. And if you liked the video, please hit the like button and stay tuned for my next video. Bye-bye.